Uh, who are you? I'm you. From the future. From the future? Really? Seriously, the future. Okay, so if you are from the future, who is the president in 2055? Ronald Reagan. The actor? <laughs> I'm just joking, man. The actual president in 2055 is the Donald Trump animatronic from the Hall of Presidents. Yep, that reads. So what are you doing here? So I am here to warn you about the future of collecting. Yikes. Really? It's that bad? Man, the prices are insane. Uh, people can only afford like a fist um, or possibly like a foot on a statue and you have to build it over years. It is insane if you want to collect in 2055. Yeah, I think it's time we go back to the future or the past or when were prices cheaper again? Hey guys, it's Chris the Batman Statue Collector. Hope you enjoyed my little uh, Back to the Future parody there. Um, but it got me thinking, you know, I, I did a, a video recently, um, maybe two or three weeks back, uh, where I was talking a little bit about is collecting only for the elite. And, it, it, you know, it generated some good topics, some good conversation, and I, I feel like some of you thought that I was kind of spot on. Um, and But I got to thinking about, like, you know, I guess the question I want to pose today is, if we could go back 10 years ago, okay, if we could go back to 10 years ago pricing, but sacrifice the quality that we've gained, would you be okay with that? Um, you know, whenever I first started collecting premium formats, they were around 350 bucks, okay? Um, now they're $650, $700, which is, is a lot, but it's still not awful compared to some of the other companies that are, you know, that started out at 1,000 and now they're at 2,000. But it is what it is, right? It's just these statues are things we do not need, but they are things that we love, right? And so sometimes we sacrifice, sacrifice um, things that we might need for things that we love. Does that make it right? No. Um, whether that is collecting or whether that is you know, just, just whatever, you know, whatever it is that you love. Um, you know, maybe you go out to eat too many times when you shouldn't or, you know, just, just whatever, right? You know, we all have our things, our vices, drinking, smoking, you know, the, all those things. Um, but it did make me think, would I want to go back to those prices? Yes. <laughs> but at the sacrifice of the quality that we've had, you know, I, I think I, I look at my original Joker premium format. I still feel like it holds up. Yes, there's the, the, the clothing. Yes, it's subjective. And it's simple for what it is, but the base is cool. But you look at other premium formats from 10, 15 years ago, and you could definitely see that the quality is not there compared to where we are now. We've come so far with digital sculpting. Obviously, a lot of those original premium formats were um, traditionally sculpted, right? Um, and so, if we had to sacrifice the quality for the price, would you be more interested? Or are you to the point now where the quality is so good that we can never go backwards? We can never go backwards. Because I think that there are companies out there that you can still buy at a cheaper price point, and sometimes the quality isn't as good as a $1,000 statue. And it, and it shouldn't be, right? It shouldn't be. But the thought of a $1,000 statue 10 years ago, oh my God, I can't even, I think people would have laughed at that, right? But now we're at a $2,000, $3,000, $4,000, $5,000 statues uh, or bus. It's pretty crazy to think. Um, somebody mentioned, uh, commented in one of the Facebook groups um, this week also that they were talking about the elite thing, you know, the elite collector. And I do think that the statue companies are probably being smart because if the casual collector is not collecting, if they are not spending the money, then who should they target? They should target the ones that are. Whether that's right or wrong, it, it's, it's a business, right? It is their business and they, they want to make profit. They want to survive this downturn in terms of statue collecting. So, you know, at the beginning of this video when I'm talking about 2055, will statues still be around in 2055? I think that they will be in some form or fashion. I think that there will be, unfortunately, less statue companies, unless something flips. You know, unless something flips and 
things get better and less chaotic in the world, maybe. Um, but, you know, art is, I don't know, what, what, do you, what do you say, a frivolous purchase, I guess? Like, it, it's something that, again, we don't need. It is something that necessities come first for most of us, right? I mean, if it came down to things I needed for my family or a statue, I'm buying things for my family, 100%. And I think that's where a lot of people are at with, with collecting in general, whether it's hot toys or statues or whatever, whatever people collect, right? Um, and so I think that everybody has seen a downturn regardless of what the, collect, the collecting is. Um, so I do think that they are having to pivot, the companies are having to pivot and say, you know, this is who we're targeting because they are still spending the money. Now what happens when those collectors quit spending the money? I would imagine that the companies are panicked about that. Now, again, I am very impressed with companies like Sideshow and Tweeterhead, um, specifically those two that have really done a good job. Iron Studios also, in, in some cases, there's some of their stuff creeps up as well. But I love the companies that are offering a variety <clears throat> of lower cost items for collectors. So people can still be involved in this hobby because that that is my biggest, you know, it's not it's not the space or the money for me. It's like for me it's the fear of people not being able to collect what they love. Like I hate that. I hate that thought. And I love people being part of this community. And so if people are like, I'm not gonna collect anymore, I don't really feel like I have a place in the community, you're wrong. Let me just let me just stop you right there. You're wrong. You absolutely have a place in this community. Just because you don't buy something every week or you buy once a year or you're never gonna buy again, you could still be part of this community. And I know some of you are gonna say, hey Chris, it's hard. It's hard to be part of the community when I'm not buying. I get that. Some people leave, some people come back. But just always know, guys, just always know that you have a place. You have a place here um, in, the, in this community. And so, again, when we look to the future, I don't see it being great. I don't see it being positive anytime soon in terms of, of, of money and the costs and the shipping, especially the shipping. Again, <laughs> I'm sorry, guys. We talk about it so much here on the channel, but shipping really is becoming the death nail of this hobby. Um, not for every company, but there are certain companies for sure. And it's just, it's just asinine. It's stupid. Do we still pay it? Some of us. Guilty. I still pay it, but I'm, I'm to the point now, like, somebody said there was a quote for the, um, I don't know, I think it was like the Batman versus Joker diorama from Prime, and I think their quote was like $1,500, which I get, it's going to be probably a big piece, it's probably going to be three boxes, but $1,500 for shipping, ah, right, especially when some companies are offering free shipping, um, some retailers, so, yeah, holy moly. So people, that's not going to survive. Like if, if that's if that if that's 2023 prices, what's it going to be like in 2055 with shipping? Unless they get their crap together and can figure out a way to get it to customers cheaper. Um, and you know, again, without padding, some people feel like there's padding going on. I don't know. I don't have proof of that, but it sure feels like that in some cases where other companies are able to get it out a lot cheaper. Um, so I, I don't know. I don't know what the answer is to that, but. Again, the future doesn't seem all that great, but again, it does question whether you we were happier in the past. You know, when we can get ten premium formats a year when they were all three hundred bucks. You know, that was that was great, right? But again, would you sacrifice the quality of the sculpt for the price point? I do want to hear your thoughts. I, I just think that's an interesting thing to think about. Um, <clears throat> you know, again, kind of this whole Back to the Future theme today. Uh, also, let me know in the bottom comments if you liked my little skit. If you'd like to see me do more of those type of things. Uh, that was a lot of fun to do. So, anyway, just thank you guys for checking out the video. Again, I don't know if this helped anyone or if this served any purpose other than just me rambling on about it. But I thought it was an interesting topic to talk about. And so, I don't know, let me know your thoughts. Um, I also just want to take a moment here to thank everyone once again for supporting this channel. Uh, for being part of the community, again, whether you collect or not. Uh, so many people message me and say, hey, Chris, I don't collect anything Batman. I don't collect statues, but I like to be here. I like to be part of this community. And so that means a lot to me. Um, I just also want to take a second to remind each and every one of you as we uh, drift on into the holidays, um, continue to be positive, continue to be good to yourself. Yes, there's a lot of chaos in the world right now, but 
as long as you are true to who you are and uh, just again continue to be good and love yourself love your neighbor and um, I just think that the world would be a better place if we continue to do that so again I'm proud of you um, just again so happy that you're part of the part of this community and um, thank you for making the hobby so much more fun anyway I'm gonna quit rambling get off my soapbox now and I hope everybody has a great rest of your week and I'll see you in the back cave bye everybody Hey guys, thank you so very much for watching today. And if you're new here, please hit the subscribe button right here on the screen and check out these two awesome videos. I think you're going to love them. And also please join us on social media, Facebook, Twitter, Instagram, and TikTok. I would love to have you join in all the fun. Thank you guys so very much for watching. See you in the Batcave.